Habs Hammer Buffalo. Uh, right here, Talking Habs with Rick. Number one hockey channel. Dope. Okay, so before we get to that, please like, subscribe, ring that bell, that's down there, that'll notify you of all my videos as they come out. Question of the day, are you impressed with this three-game winning streak? Are you impressed with this three-game winning streak? Excuse me. Uh, please leave a comment in the comment section. I read them all. Uh, stay tuned to the end of this video for my three stars, my Habs three stars of the game. Okay, so let's get right into it. Um... Uh, it was a fast-paced start, but the Habs were having trouble, once again, clearing the freaking zone um, for the first couple of minutes. And then they turned that around a bit. Uh, they were controlling the play more, keeping the pressure on in the Sabres zone. It was a really fast-paced period. There was not a lot of whistles, plus not that many chances to start out. And then, of course, at 12.26, Reinhardt, on a give-and-go with Middlestat, he gets his 19th. Middlestat and Montour with the assists. At 12.42, Buffalo takes the first penalty for slashing. Habs power play nothing. 16.09, Lekkonen for holding. Sabres power play nothing. Habs were pressing for a goal in the last two minutes. Uh, they were getting a lot of chances. Spending this time, spending time in the zone, in the Sabres zone. But nothing came of that. Habs, uh, they were outplayed in, the first, uh, in this first period. Uh, Buffalo held more pressure and kept Montreal off balance most of the period. So if Montreal doesn't turn it around, they are in danger of losing here. The way they were pressing at the end is how they need to play for the rest of the game because they were putting a lot of pressure. I'd say the last two and a half, three minutes, chance after chance. Must have had five chances there at the end. Hatton just standing tall. Shots on goal, Montreal 12, Buffalo 8. Both teams 0 for 1 on the power play. Second was a slower start. Um, again, though, Montreal having trouble clearing the, their zone. They did it all night, pretty much, clearing, having trouble clearing the zone. It was a good result for the night, but they got to stop doing that. At 5.09, Domi fights to keep the puck in the, in the Buffalo zone. He races up to the blue line. He kind of keeps it in, spins around, and starts skating, uh, you know, like, like he always does. <laughs> nice little arc. Uh, he carries it up and dishes it off to Shaw. I think it was to the side. He, f he fires it at the net. Lekkonen just flies in and gets his stick on it. And he tips it past Hutton. It was a beautiful uh, a beautiful goal by Lekkonen. Um, and it was his ninth from Shaw and Domi. And if you watched my first video, I asked who they, anyone thought would get off the schneid as far as goal scoring. And Lekkonen was the first one to do that. I took the tar and he does it later on. Habs still not clearing the zone, as I was saying. Um, Sabre spending majority of the time in the Habs zone. At 9-12, Deneau dives at the puck behind Buffalo's net, and he gets the puck up to Galley in the slot, who buries it for his career high. 30-second goal. It was great work by Deneau. He just flung himself and with his stick. He flung himself out, and he got it with the stick, and he passed it up. It was really good work. At 14-23, Domi carries it over. the. Uh, he was along the boards. Uh, and he carried it up the line. I think it was from behind his own line. Uh, he passed it sideways to Shaw, who wrists it past Hutton. For his 18th, Domi Kulak with the assists. Um, at 14.43, Follin takes a, a delay of game penalty right after the goal. At 14.53, it was a wild period. Uh, Nylander rips one top corner past Price on a one-timer. And I say nobody stops that shot, not Price's fault. At 16.08, Drouin turns it over in the Sabres zone. Sabres carry it back uh, and score on a, a rocket from Scandella at the point. I think that was a bad one by Price. Scandella's fifth from Larson. At 18.03, Wheel and Byron break out two on one. Uh, Wheel holds on. And he uh, Great patience. He holds on, holds on, and he shoots. And Byron goes to the net, and he just he puts it past Hutton with his skate. Um, it just it hit his skate and it went in. It just, he didn't direct it, and it was for his 14th from Wheel and Thompson. Um, it was a flood of goals in this period, lots of turnovers, and Montreal emerges with a four to three lead. They need to cut back on the Sabers' time in their in their zone and turn turnovers in the in the third. They got to stop that, and things can go their way in this game. Shots on goal, Montreal 20. 
uh, uh, Buffalo 7. Buffalo oh, uh, 1 for 1 on the power play. Montreal no power plays. Third period. I didn't write anything until 8.35. Weber carrying the puck along the boards. Going, he was just swinging behind Buffalo's net, and before he gets behind the net, he passes it. He tosses it up in front to Galley, and Galley just one times it and burns it past Hutton for his thirty third. Um, and obviously from Weber, at nine oh six, Shaw, a double minor for roughing and charging after retaliating for an elbow to the head by Scandella. And then at thir- and that was a double minor, right? So that's four minutes. So at 13-13, right, I think right after the power play, uh, Eichel with his 26th. After a scramble in front of Price, he puts it just under the crossbar. I think, I believe it was unassisted. At 14-26, Buffalo penalty to Gergensen's for slashing. And at 15-30, Domi on the power play from the top of the left circle with a wrist shot, his 26th. From Petri and Tatar. Two games in a row with a power play goal. So one of my predictions came true there. Uh, dumb, we got a power play goal. Yeah! Woohoo! Hutton pulled a 220 <laughs> and into the empty net. Tatar scores for his, I think his 23rd, something like that. I didn't write it down. From Galli and Dino. Uh, so another one of my predictions Tatar got off the Schneid. It was a wild third period as well uh, to cap off uh, a very fun game to watch. Three wins in a row and counting for Montreal. So tomorrow they're in tough in Carolina. It's the second game of back-to-back games, but it's by both teams because Canes, uh, they beat the Wild tonight. So good on the boys for these two points. In the bag, that means less pressure tomorrow. So even if they, heaven forbid, they lose against the uh, Hurricanes, They've got these two points in the bag, and they're still in a good spot. So my three stars, if you've been watching all through this, my three stars of the game, Domi for his goal and two assists, first star. Second star, Tatar, one goal, two assists. And third star, Galley for his two goals. And there you have my review for that. I'm a little tired. I hope it didn't show too much. Um, So please like, subscribe, ring the bell. And that'll notify you of all my videos as they come out. Question of the day. Are you impressed with this three-game winning streak? You can leave a comment in the comment section below. And I thank you for watching. Kitos. And I'm going to put up a couple videos. Well, one I'm going to put. One uh, y- uh, YouTube's going to pick for you guys. Hope you enjoy those. And, yeah. I'll see you next game. I can't even think I'm tired. I'll see you next game. Have a good night. Bye.